Okay, these are my four boxes, first time boxes. This is a big one. They're all only about um, a few inches high. Maybe the tallest one is five or six inches high, but very big. A little bit less big and very shallow. little bit less big very shallow and this one is a little taller but um, also it there's plenty of room in there it's approximately 10 by 12 but it's um, a little bit more challenging so we're gonna come in that door and this is going to be the first box the second box third and fourth so as they get more challenging there will be food, the same food, in every single one of them. So as they become more challenging, they also become more familiar and the pattern of the game becomes familiar. So the dog's confidence actually increases even though the challenges go up as they go down the line. Okay, we're ready to go. This is our leash. I will bring her into the building on leash. And these are extra cookies. These happen to be cheese balls. And when she eats a cookie in the box, while her head, hopefully if I'm fast enough, she's pretty quick. But while her head is in the box, I will run in and give her two cheese balls and then stand up to allow her to go to the next box. So that's gonna be my pattern. This is a fun game, right? There we go. That is really fun. Good job, baby. Good job. Okay, come on, let's get out of here. Good job. I'm gonna do one more round and um, I'm gonna put cheese balls in each one. I'm going to do the same thing. So what we want to know is, is she quicker? Is she more confident? Does she like this game? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good girl. Sit. Yes. Smart girl. This is very fun. There we go. So you could say the nose work people say she's learning to hunt. I'm using it as a confidence building exercise. If you ever want to do nose work as a sport, your dog will need to stay at the source. So that's a real good reason to run in and give extra cookies. I'm doing it for confidence, right? So right there inside the box, her head goes down and gets a cheese ball. <laughs> 